Welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, Ooh. where we kind of readjusted our team a little bit. A little bit. We'll see if it works. Yeah. Are we going to just try that right away? Um, I'm definitely going to try to get them leveled a little bit before we go. That's fair. Elena also lost their voice. Yay! So, you get to hear... It doesn't hurt, guys. It's okay. Yeah, like, well, it's like, like you showed up and I was like, are you sick? <laughs> and you were like, no. A little bit? Maybe? Yeah, and I was like, and then you're like, I feel like it here, and then my voice just went, and I was like, yeah, you're probably having like a head cold. <laughs> but so, like, you got the coldies with zinc, yes. and then the fucking, we have like the, the fun halls too for after coldies, mm-hmm. and then uh, water, and you won't have- be doing fucking uh, voices as much, probably. No. You sounded good a little bit ago, like right after you ate. You sounded great. Actually, right would you want my me? massive bitching session? And then we bitched, <laughs> so your voice got raw again. Yeah. But uh, would you maybe want me to uh, turn down the TV? I'd, why is it so loud? <laughs> it's squeaking in. But well, the thing was, it wasn't that loud. Like I turned them both back down after turning them. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> like, but more of the story is, um, would you like me to make you like tea with honey? Maybe later. That could be really good. It does really help. Yeah. Like, because apparently when I get colds now, they are extreme colds, but they're not <laughs> a flu. But they're extreme colds. So- and then they fucking, uh, my whole, my it always attacks my throat like the hardest. And oh, I yeah. always think I fucking have strep throat. And I go in and they go, no, you don't have it's strep throat. You just have a really bad cold. And it's been... First time, okay, maybe I just have a really bad cold. Second time, all right, I guess colds just affect me this way now. <laughs> and fucking, so now I know if I have fucking a really bad cold, I'm probably going to try the shit that they goddamn suggested to me right. last time I went to the walk-in. So, And I know if your throat hurts, I can give you fucking four ibuprofen, but you have to take them six hours, not four hours. Right. Take four. Fucking, and then if you fucking, and then you take also at the same time, fucking two acetaminophens oh right 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 that was the magic yeah that was and then and then they, she was like because like i went in and i was already doing the and i don't like hot beverages so like it was for me a chore to fucking have tea and honey right. but it did fucking help and so when i went in i was like so i feel like i'm dying and my throat hurts <laughs> but apparently right now that isn't the fucking case because i've been drinking tea with honey and water i've been like double fisting them and like, Which so my voice really sounded well. fucking normal, and I was like, "It does suck, though." I'm just, I can't give you a good pain accuracy. That's my problem. Cause like, she, she was like, "Well, like, what's like, what would you say, like, on a scale from one to ten, the pain?" And I was like, "Okay, right now it's like a fucking four, but like, right. and tolerable, but like earlier it was a like goddamn like eight or nine. Right. Like it sucked. It hurts. Yeah. And the problem is, is my pain scale is so fucked because of my possible medical issue yeah that might be a thing so it's like that's why i just try to like i try to not like humble on that shit because yeah. i naturally want to fucking like downplay it right but it's probably worse you're just used to it so, yeah, therefore- so I, that's why it's just like fucking eight nine yeah i was like maybe i i'd never liked it it's like me not wanting to get five stars or fucking exactly. a one star i'm like it's well, it didn't sucks, wow me. Yeah, yeah. Worst thing in the world. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I'm not I can't die. commit to ten. Yeah, I'm not yeah. dying, but like it does fucking suck a lot, and I feel like I w- honestly death would be an escape. <laughs> like was, when that shit was going on. Who was I talking to? I was talking to somebody. I think it was actually my therapist. When I was like, "Yeah, I sneezed last night, and it literally felt like I was being stabbed in the gut." And she just got the look on her face of like, oh my god, are you all right? I'm like, no, obviously. I felt like I just got stabbed in the gut. No, I'm fucking dying. (laughs) I don't know what's exactly wrong with me, so I can't say everything's fine or everything's not fine, you know? Yeah. I completely fucking get that. So, So. moral of the story is, I'll make some tea with honey for you later. (laughs) I'll use the stuff that I thought was the best. Okay. Like, tasting. But I also am no tea snob. I'm just like, what? I'll drink I was like, this one's better than the other one. <laughs> and it was just what we had on hand at the time. And I think we still have more of it. And this is what I really love and appreciate about you. It's like, you just take care of me sometimes when I'm sick. And I just love it so much. Which, I mean, I feel like everybody should do that. Like, if you're sick, you're sick. Like, get you better. And right. Your family and Eric's family are both notorious for not taking care of themselves <laughs> when they're sick. So I'm just like, well, I guess I got to fill in. 
I try. I'm trying to do better on the medicine thing. It's like I took just having on hand for when this kind of shit happens is really helpful. Well, and like that's my thing is um, I don't know where my NyQuil and DayQuil went. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where that went. Um, so that's why I asked for the for my dad. Yeah, and he had some on hand. Because I recognized it when, oh, no, I need to stop this right now. Nip it in the bud. Exactly. It's like Eric so. was feeling kind of cruddy, like, last week, I think. And he was like, no, it's probably fine. I was like, take this. Yeah. I was like, literally take this don't, right now. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I don't give a shit if you don't think, think it's no way. If you take it. Yeah. Like, don't be my dad. Don't fucking just tough it out because yeah. you think you get every side effect in the world. <laughs> Then you don't, dude. Like, if none of your kids get every set effect, like, I think it's mental. It's, yeah. Yeah. But, like, so, uh, I made him take it. And then, like, the next morning, he was like, actually, I feel great. Good. Like, he was like, I kind of felt shitty that whole day. And then uh, after sleeping with him, like, taking medicine for that day mm -hmm. and then sleeping with, like, the medicine as well. He was like, I, I think we nipped it in the bud. Good. And I was like, good. Good. That's the fucking point of it. That's what I'm trying. That's yeah. what I tried to do. And I I'd rather have medicine potentially go bad expire right and then not it. have it on hand at all exactly. when i need it yeah because you don't want the last thing you want to do is go out and get it when you already feel like shit right and the thing that makes me laugh is uh we're having flu shots at work on wednesday and i'm like can i get a flu shot at this point because i don't feel great so should i be getting a flu shot i mean i'm still gonna go and be like do give me they a shot. have like will they have another time they give the shots out not at that location. Boo. Because I would but, say I mean, you should... Or Google it, maybe. Well, I mean, it, it's it's work-specific. No, 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 no. What I was saying was, like, Google um, if it's safe oh, to get a shot yes. when you're sick. Yes, I see what you mean. Because I was going to say, you could ask them, right. too, at the time. If you're still feeling a little under the weather. But, like, I, my, my, my thought process was a little janky. Because it was like... Well, you could ask them and then, like, assuming that, like, it. yeah, well, I was like, well, you can only ask them. You can't do it the same day. <laughs> like, that was like, what my, that was like, well, if they're only there for one day, then shit. But, like, fuck, <laughs> yeah. Man. Then you use up your one asking day and you can't get you, it done. You, you've used yeah. your one action so for the like, day. If you they say, fucked. Yeah, if they say that it's okay, then it's like, oh, then just they, do it just then. Give it to me. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if it's not okay, I, I'm sure you could get, like, a free flu shot, like, at, like, Bartel or something. Can. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's like as long as you have some form of insurance, you're covered. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't want people getting the flu. And the fact that we will now be having a two year old potentially forever at my house. Yeah. I should probably get a flu shot. Yeah. 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 45. Okay, it's a magical attack. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but okay. But yeah, so. But yeah, no, like, I, just, everyone should, be, like, Gina was telling me, my hairstylist the other day, that fucking, like, she had, like, the stomach flu, and I was like, doesn't that shit suck as an adult? Yes. She's like, yeah, it's the fucking worst. And she was telling me that, she was like, yeah, so, like, like, she was like, well, my girlfriend got sick, too, and fucking, like, her, like, mom comes over and makes her, like, soup, and she, like, she what? went back home to her, like, mom, and, like fucking got like all this attention and doting and stuff and meanwhile she was like my fucking mom doesn't never did that when i was a kid so i asked her to bring me over some soup and she brings over like one measly cup of soup oh. or whatever and then she's like you should really clean your house and she's like mom i'm dying of the stomach flu <laughs> she's like yeah well, it's a little dusty might make you feel better i was oh like my God. i was like your mom doesn't understand how sickness works does right? she because fucking like yeah exerting yourself <laughs> definitely fucking helps especially when you're ralphing your fucking guts out and yeah, I like let me clean this fucking toilet with more barf. And then I had to like dive into the like, did you did you have the fun experience that I had, which was like having it from both sides? Oh god! At the same time, you're I just like that was the pinnacle of man. I don't give a shit anymore. Right? <laughs> like just I literally stand in the like I literally vomited and had diarrhea at the same fucking yeah. time. I couldn't prevent either. My fucking body was just like, what are muscles that hold things in? Right. And fucking so stand in the shower and I, cry. I I immediately walked to the shower stood in it and slowly undressed myself i just let my fucking like clothes get wet because i was like I, they're at fucked point, anyway yeah. yeah well at least my pants my shirt was probably fine but i was sweaty and yeah, stuff because i was like get a wash anyway. yeah so i was just like fuck it like a slightly like 
cold. Not cold, not freezing, but, like, tepid. So it's not, right, like, right. shocking my system. But also, right. like, I'm not getting so hot that I'm going to get dizzy and pass out and die. Which you definitely don't want to do yeah. that. I know the weird, like, little things because my mom, like, really was good at, like, informing me about this kind of, like, oh, why? It's not warm. She's like, well, you might pass out when I was, like, a child. Not a toddler, but, like, definitely not, like, a teen. Like, young enough that you don't But I still, understand. like, retain that information. I was like, oh. That's smart. Yeah, I was like, that makes sense. And like, you know, so now I know to, and I did take a couple baths just to cool my body down because my body was like fucking hot, cold, hot, cold. You're barfing all the time. You want to die. And I was like, maybe I can get hydration through osmosis because I kind (laughs) of keep fucking water down. Right. And so like, and I, I just draped myself over the edge too, just in case. Oh, so you... Yeah, so if I did... Yeah, I would be over the fucking edge. Okay. Like, torso-wise. And also, my bath... (laughs) Bathrooms... American bathtubs are hilariously... Like, bathroom-shower combos are hilariously tiny. Yes. So, fucking... uh, I don't think I could have drowned if I even wanted to. I don't think my head would have made it under. If I... My legs would have fucking prevented it. If I can't accordion into the bathtub... Well, I mean... Well, if I can't... If I still struggle... And I'm five foot two... There's no chance in hell. I was raving to Eric about fucking the, like, one, the oh, the, the love hotel yes. we stayed in. And, like, that I don't give a fuck. Amazing. That had the biggest spa tub ever. And I know it's for sex because two Asian people, two Japanese people can fit into that shit, likely. But me, my big ass American self, that's perfect that for was, just me, me, and was, me. The fact that I can submerge myself in a Japanese tub I was makes like, me laugh. I, I was like, well, because it's made for sex, but fucking also at the same time. You know, I wasn't ooh, thinking about that. That's what I need. It's, I wasn't thinking about that. The only reason I thought about it, I was like, wait a second. Like, the pieces <laughs> started falling in line. The fucking. The menu that they had of the rooms, the yes. ones that were like just the button presses, you could do it discreetly if you wanted. You didn't have to ever talk to the concierge. Fucking the bed that had the vibration things and stuff like that. <laughs> Did our bed have vibration? Yeah, we just never fucking touched it because it scared me. I completely me. forgot about that. Yeah, they, they were on the side I slept on, so I always uh... looked at them. But fucking, because I was like, well, they didn't scare me, but I definitely used them for Google Translate because I wanted <laughs> to see how well Google Translate right, right, worked. Right. So I was like, Cause we we're like, what the fuck does this do? And like, it was like rotate or fucking like vibrate. And I was like, oh, oh. and then fucking only had wine glasses. They had like a fridge and also right. had only had wine glasses and, and they're fucking like little, like here's things. And then the weird, weird programs. And then the fucking, I mean, I just, I couldn't tell if that was just Japanese TV That's fair. that I wasn't used to, or if it was actually like program for fucking like. This is what you have sex to. Yeah, and so and then fucking go into the bathroom and it's like watch your head if you're not my height. <laughs> yeah, because the thing that about, was about this, Japanese people were still taller than me on average. It was I was funny. S- fucking lost in a sea was, of. Sh- I was sh- too short. Still, I could not find you. If we got separated, and I had was, like slightly black hair at the time too. So yeah. I was like, guess I blend in. <laughs> So yeah, terrible. from like the top down because like you can't find me. The one time we got separated, I was like, "You're gonna have to find me." <laughs> I guess it's like I can't see. You. I'm honestly like at the like point when we go back, I might specifically request for like Gina to dye my hair in that silver color again. Oh, so because you stand like out. yeah, so I stand out a little bit yeah, better. That's fair. And also just because it's a good color, I like it, it a lot. Color. I, I really like silver hair, but it costs money, and so I can't pay for that for that right now but even like my reddish would be okay yeah like it's still noticeable in a sea of black First, hair yeah versus the black hair yeah wise. i had my blonde so and you know taller than pretty much everyone and then, yeah kids were like that's a fucking that's a white that's person. a white person yeah definitely got stared at a lot yeah you got a lot of the stairs i didn't because I, yeah. I was like they were like we can't see you, you're too short <laughs> we have to look down yeah. at a foreigner yeah. okay that's a first but i'm like (laughs) i'm like the when they do the memes of fucking this is one of my favorite types of like it's a meme that i feel like is slightly like a hidden meme that comes around every now and then Uh and it's when they fucking will take the person that's standing there and then fucking squish them down so there's like a mini version of them yeah but they're really short and stock and like just like and their arms are always far out and like 
and it's like, mom said it's my turn to use the Xbox because I'll put it right next to it. And I feel like I'm that person. Like, there's a <laughs> taller version of me somewhere out there, and I got the, I'm the squished proportionate <laughs> version. Like the Keanu Reeves one. That's, I feel like him. Like, it's my turn to use the Xbox. Excuse me. But, like, fucking, uh, like, I was talking to Eric, and then, like, the bathtub that was there. Yeah. Like, uh, like I'm going to follow Japanese standards of culture so I don't, like, fuck shit up. Where you shower. You shower and then first and the then bath. soak. Yeah. Yes. So you don't dirty it up. And the tub was, first off, huge. Mm. It's also a jet. It had jet mm. shit in it, too. Like a fucking tiny and little sauna. Lights. Yeah, yeah, a little, little fucking hot tub. And fucking, and it had, like, rainbow fucking lights. Mm-hmm. And on a timer and stuff like that. Like That was my favorite part. It was, I was like, as I was sitting in it, I was like, this is a sex hotel. <laughs> in my head, I was like, I was like, this is absolutely, at this point, like, the fucking evidence is clear as day. And honestly, it was still a really fucking nice hotel. And I yeah. hope that the uh, ladies that ran it, fucking appreciated us because we tried to be as nice and clean as possible and would give them like signals to not clean our room so they didn't have to waste their fucking time and like i tried to keep it nice in the end and i think we had them clean our room like once it was like a couple times it wasn't it was like maybe like it was mostly just to take out the trash yeah it was like it's just certain little things i think we did it maybe two or three times yeah i mean to be fair in the two weeks two weeks Yeah. yeah But it's just like we're fine. And we were just nice. We paid them or whatever. And like, yeah, we probably look super lesbian. But at the same time, they didn't give a fuck. We were like, I was like, thank you for not caring. If you did care. Yeah. That was the thing, too. It's like, I don't want them to care and deny us a room. because I just don't want to be denied a room. Yeah. Be like, well, you two are a couple. We're not. But, you know. Yeah, I know it looks that way. We're not. But like, also, who fucking cares? Yeah. You get paid one way or the other. Exactly. So we're American, we're white, and we try to be as polite <laughs> as possible. I think the fact that we were so just polite yeah. may have worked in our favor, just Liter- in general. Politeness transcends barriers, in it my does. opinion. There's certain cultural norms that you can't always hit. Like, right. like I can't say, like, if, I, if no one told me that in, like, the Middle East, like, putting your foot up like you know like showing the bottom of your foot to somebody's an oh, insult yeah, yeah, yeah. like if no one told me that and i accidentally did that and like fuck something up i'd be super apologetic because right. i didn't know i didn't I'm mean so anything sorry. by it yeah, yeah i'll promise i'll not do that again and like that's the thing where it's just like you should be researching the com- the country that you go to always research the country so you always. don't do that shit that's why i made sure to not put my fucking cho- just stick my chopsticks in the bowl yes fucking i always set them off to the like and then I didn't also set them in a certain way because it, like, represents death or something like that. So Yeah, like, there's, like, one that's, like, if you're done eating, you put it this way. Yeah. If you want to be an asshole, you put them this way. It's just, like, yeah. it's just easier to put them off to the side. Yeah, so I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm just, oh. And I'm assuming there's a fifth, what? hidden fifth slot. Does it just keep expanding the more you use? Okay, I wish that's Fire Emblem did me. that. Fire Emblem has an embarrassing low amount of fucking safe that's, slots. It has, like, seven or six. The, um, and it fucking, if you want to have a save, I'm trying to have a save for each completed run I do. Yeah. And I can't, and I'm at the point where I don't think I have any more space for it. I could overwrite fucking my first Claude run. There's no reason not to. But, but like, it's like sentimental. Like, but like, because it, it holds your fucking, it just rolls over your fucking clock time. Right. So, like, my current file is, like, 114 hours. And I was, like, <laughs> I've not been playing this file for that long. But it because I'm coming off New Game Pluses and shit like that's that. And this is does. off of two runs of New Game Pluses now at this point. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's why it looks like I fucking I have a longest. And so, when we play it, it's going to be, like, 2,000 hours. It's going to be a billion fucking hours. Because yeah. I'm just going to, because I want to have everything. Yeah, fuck it. New Game Plus it. Yeah. I don't care. I'm going to as easy as possible. So, we can, because, let's be real, Fire Emblem takes a fuck ton of time. I was trying to see if uh, Link's Awakening actually had a New Game Plus. Because sometimes they'll add that for, like, remakes and that kind of stuff. Yeah. They didn't. Aww. But, um, which is fine. You yeah. don't need it. But, uh, it's a little surprising to see in modern games. It's technically, I think, hero mode. Is uh, yeah, because there's like the normal mode and the yeah. hero mode, and I don't really care to play hero mode. Yeah. so fuck it, whatever. You're like I don't have anything to prove. Exactly, I have nothing to prove. It's just gonna make the game harder, and I'm not gonna enjoy it as much. So what's the fucking point? Yeah. And um. 
so there's gonna be two completed files when we play. One's like, one's my first one where I was like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna play my childhood game again, yay! You know, and like I've got like all the hearts and, and everything, die. and I have one death on that one, and that one death fucked me out of a fucking special secret ending. And then there's a second file right above it that's literally cleared a week later, with zero deaths and I like the secret ending. less than thirty, <laughs> like three hearts less than full because. Fuck you, Dompe. I don't want to do your bullshit fucking dungeon crawling shit again just to get a fucking heart container. So I don't care about this last <laughs> these last three hearts because I can't. I think I can't get. I can't get two of them for sure because he gives you I think two heart pieces mm -hmm. and then one full heart container. So it's like I know I can't get two for sure. So therefore I don't care. Yeah. And I don't want to look up where all the other heart pieces are, so fuck it, whatever. I'm just going to fucking beat the game. Yeah. And I beat the game better than the first time because I didn't know how to fucking shadow fight went. Well, also, yeah, now you have prior knowledge of the game. Exactly. And so it's just like, fucking, I wish that it actually did have times because it doesn't have times for whatever reason. Uh, For... Link's Awakening. It doesn't say how long the playtime was. Oh, interesting. It just has your last time you played it. Meanwhile, Fire Emblem's Oops. like, bitch, here's your fucking playtime. 